hi my youtube channel viewers and uh, let's have a look at another video of computer related software error solution today we are going to explain and guide you on how to go about in the event of an error 176109 invalid product number on quickbooks point of sale version 9 first we are going to access the folder that hosts the registration files for the activation of the software which is normally located in a folder in your computer in local drive C program data folder intuit then uh, inside the intuit folder you find the entitlement client folder so you type program data on your computer then you click enter, then intuit, then you open entitlement grant, then version 6. Then you delete all the files in the entitlement grant folder version 6. In my case, the folder v6 depends on the version of QuickBooks point of sale you are using. In my case, I'm using QuickBooks point of sale version 9. So delete these files in this folder this now allows you to register your quickbooks pos with a validation code that was provided to you by intuit after purchasing your product now we open uh, our quickbooks point of sale let's, op let's go back and open our point of sale, a QuickBooks point of sale software just refreshing the computer so that I can be able to to know whether there are other processes that are running on so then I will open my QuickBooks point of sale software And there it's opening so for purposes of demonstration we are going to use a dummy uh, validation code which obviously will not uh, be able to validate the product you can see the software is now able to allow us to to open uh, and then we validate the product so you can see register by phone so here we are going to use uh, a dummy validation code for purposes of a demonstration so when you click next after put, putting the validation code you will see that it will not be able to validate the product because it's not the correct validation code so you see it's not able to activate so we'll just proceed with the we we'll reopen the software we are going to reopen the software and we proceed with the 30 days trial period and uh, we log in now and we are able to log to open and log in to the software with limited access on the computer hosting the file so you will now be required to validate your product with the uh, write validation code to be able to use this software so that is how you go about it thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel to continue getting more computer solutions